In the previous chapter, Shui sprained her ankle, and Xiyan took her to the hospital. She wanted him to give her a piggyback ride, but he carried her in front instead. So close. What he sent? Faintly. And. Breathing sound. I thought this would had no heart, turns out it has a heartbeat. Now that things have come to this, I can't miss this once in a lifetime opportunity. Recharge. Shi Yan. Had your ex-girlfriend ever said, From this angle, you are so handsome. It's lethal, right? Hee <laughs> hee. Then, had your ex-boyfriend ever told you? You're so heavy. No. Then you will be my first ex-boyfriend to say so. Sk Fail. Oh, oh, oi. Young lady, I'm usually not heavy handed. Did it hurt that much? I fear pain. Hello? Doctor, you can do whatever you want, I can bear the pain. Feels like the stiffness of death. Turns out, you were just acting like a spoiled child. What I said, your condition is not serious. Apply an ice compress within 48 hours after returning home, followed by a hot compress. 
If it really hurts, consider using medication that promotes blood circulation and reduces stagnation. Um hum. Actually, it doesn't hurt that much anymore. Avoid massaging it or moving this area. If the discomfort persists, ask your boyfriend to provide you care and support. No problem, right? But although your boyfriend is quite handsome, he is too cold and has a heart of stone. Doctor sister, you're wrong. He is not someone with a heart of stone. Young lady, you're practically covering up for him. <laughs> but he has no heart at all. Where is he? Why hasn't he come back yet? Don't tell me, he has left. Probably went to pay the hospital fee. Entering action mode. She. I still can't move my foot. As expected, he couldn't refuse me. A cat suddenly jumped over. After this battle, our relationship will take a further step forward. What the hell? Whoa! Big rat!
I think I can get in the car first and explain later. What do you say? 